Socrates. Hey, we know that name. Socrates, the trial is over. Here's your hemlock. Ah, thank you. Socrates. Well, what was the verdict? When do I get out of here? The only true wisdom consists in knowing that you know nothing. But Socrates, the verdict was death. Death? You gotta be kidding me! Socrates. Socrates. Philosophize with him. The fucking legend, dude. You know, the first time I ever heard about this guy was that movie. Was Bill and Ted? Bill and Ted. Socrates. Yeah. Our guy, Socrates. Just Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, turn this off, dude. You want to turn this is that off? right? Yeah, you want this all off? Yeah, is that cool? Yeah, dog. I don't give a fuck. All right. My you're bad. Just, you're just staring at the black abyss now, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. You want to you know why, dude? Because <laughs> I'm thinking about fucking Socrates, dude. Yeah. What he would have thought about all this, dude. Oh. The father of Western philosophy, Socrates, man. So- Socrates. Yeah. Bill and Ted's very own pal. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Ted were actually uh, real people, for those of you who don't know. Yeah, I was joking earlier. I was thinking, like, what if we just talked about Bill and Ted the entire time and just, like, never mentioned anything? That would have been pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah, no. uh, Yeah. That was the first time I ever had heard of Socrates. Me as well, probably. Um, Did they bring him on stage at the end of that movie? Yeah. Did they bring everybody on stage? Is that what happened? I think so. They give their presentation at school, and like nobody is like freaking out that Abraham Lincoln and Socrates. They're just like, oh, it's just well, they thought they were actors. Yeah, right. Yeah. Probably, probably. I, I just, you know, I think about that movie and like, fellas, you did great. I'm giving you an A on this presentation. You're gonna get a C in our class. It's great. <laughs> Problem is. You have failed every single other <laughs> class, dude. So you will be going to military school, and then I forget what Keanu Reeves' fate was. Yeah. Or was he the one going to military school? I can't remember. I can't remember, man. That movie is... Th- those two movies, I feel, still hold up. The third, I haven't seen the third one. It's rough. It's not, not really. Dude, you know that guy became a documentary filmmaker? The other guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Good for him, man. Yeah, he made, like, the Napster documentary. Uh, he made a couple other good ones, too. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you know, no Keanu, dude. No Keanu. Keanu wasn't fucking speed in, dude. like, three years, dude. <laughs> dude. Fucking uh, Keanu was in The Replacement soon after. No, nah, he, was, he was probably point break after that. No. Well, maybe. Point Break after that, man? He was probably in Point Break after that, then Speed, then, like, Johnny Monomic. Yeah. Then you gotta like, keep it over 55, <laughs> or the bomb's gonna go on. It was Cans. <laughs> cans. Yeah, dude. Um, what a weird thing that that guy was missing a finger. Like, that was, like... Ooh. And, uh... And Speed. The Are bad you, guy? Yeah. Dennis Hopper? Dennis Hopper. He's missing a finger. I don't remember that. I think he's missing a... Dennis Hopper's the bad guy in Speed, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a legend. Legend. The legend himself guy. Yeah, he's missing a finger or something, dude. All right. Hold on. Let me make a drink here. Is Keanu Reeves in Speed 2? Absolutely not, dude. It was uh, Jason Patrick, right? I don't know. I never saw Speed, Speed 2, 2, but there's no Cruise way. Cruise Control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Is man. it on a boat? 
Yeah, you never saw it? Never saw it. I saw it when it came out. I can't really remember. I feel like that would have been straight to... All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm just going to give the plot a speed, too. (laughs) So they're on a cruise ship. I can't remember like how it leads there, what the goal is, but basically terrorists take over the cruise ship, and um, it's a similar thing where they just keep it going. They don't turn it off, and it's directed towards like a small island. And yeah, and the whole thing is like we're gonna crash this bitch into the island unless you meet our demands. I don't remember what the demands were, but basically, there's a scene where the boat actually crashes into the island, and like from what you can tell. Like, the effects make it seem like the boat is cutting the island in half, almost. <laughs> it's very strange. Oh my God. And you think, like, that'd be the end of the movie. They saved the day, sort of. You know, nobody died, maybe a couple people. <laughs> but then, like, there's, like, a speedboat chase. And uh, I think it ends with, like... A speedboat flying out of the water on a cresting a wave and crashing into a helicopter. That's fucking raw, dude. I think that's what happens. I haven't seen this in many years. But in my head, that's how it went down. And Keanu was there. And at the end, Keanu was like, Agent, Agent Stone, you did it, man. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's amazing that all these sequels get like a whole tell just in their subtitle, like Cruise Control. You can be on a fucking boat. Yeah, awesome, awesome name, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. You're saying it's an awesome name? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those writers definitely weren't on cocaine, dude. And yeah. they wrote that, dude. They weren't looking at Michael Bay movies and saying, how the fuck do we do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we get these special effects to make them cut an island in half? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, man. And then Face Off came out and everybody's like, God, dude. Holy shit. What a fucking missed opportunity there, dude. (laughs) You know, we've talked about... Travolta and Nick Cage? We've talked about Face Off on the pod before. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. It's, I mean... It's one of the worst movies ever, but it's awesome. Oh, my God, man. It's not one of the worst movies ever, but it is not great, but it's awesome. One of the worst, best movies ever. John Woo, baby. Is uh, a movie with Hulk Hogan and Debo from from Friday. Are you talking about... What the fuck? What's it called? Dude, I can't remember. Is it where he's in the? Is it like, like kind of Mr. Mom or something, dude? Not Mr. No. Mom, dude. Hold on. What the fuck is that movie called? I know they're both kind of wearing like wrestling attire kind of thing. Hold on, Debo, Hulk, Hogan. What's the No Holds Barred? No, that's not what I was gonna say. Just a. Uh, that looks stupid as fuck. Dude. It's, it's a amazing. WWF movie. It's just terrible. Yeah. And he plays Booker T or what? <laughs> <laughs> he's, dude, he was Zeus in the WWF for like. He was in the WWF? For like two minutes, I think. And they called him Zeus. That's pretty good. No ring, no ref, no rules. And, that was a movie? And he's got a Z. Carved into his head. How is that a movie and not just an event? No, it was a movie, dude. It was a... Uh, Cage match? No, just like a fucking weirdest summer... Uh, I think they used like the real WWF going on like to... To film it. To get the movie kind of going. Yeah, dude, this is fucking Debo, dude. Like, <clears throat> Interesting. He was Zeus. Look at his funky-ass face. <laughs> <laughs> With a Z in his hair. He went nuts after Craig punched him, dude. 
Speaking of Zeus. Yeah. Oh, good segue, <laughs> baby. Good segue. Yeah, what do you got to say about that fucking ass clown? Yeah, you know, I mean, in in that time, so when they worshipped these gods. Ancient Greece. Yeah, in ancient Greece. You know, what they when they worshipped them, it was like not how people think of religion now. Like, you're like, this is what I believe. I'm spiritual. I believe, or I believe in astrology. Like, they didn't give a shit about that. They're like, yeah, dude. That's great. Like, what have you sacrificed? What ritual have you done? Yeah. Like, that's how they handled shit back then. Yeah, they were like, dude, do you want there to be a fucking tsunami tomorrow, dude? Cause yeah. Because Zeus will make that shit happen. Yeah. Unless we unless we sacrifice your, your two sons. Man. Yeah, yeah. Put them on the wood pile, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. That's that's nuts that it was like... It's like, dude, we're going to war. Yeah. You know, you want Athena to be pissed off? <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so shut the fuck up. We're cutting your yeah. wife's hands off, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know what she did, okay? And everybody's fine with it as long as Zeus is fine with it, all right? And this is this all makes sense. It all or checks like, out. Because, <laughs> like, you know the whole thing with Zeus, his, his kids? He just came in the... He, like changed form and went to bang like, yeah to yeah. bang earth women yeah so like <laughs> so like just imagine like the, the rumors bang. you start like i heard ted's wife <laughs> banged zeus while he was a lion <laughs> <laughs> you know just weird shit like that have you heard the things Fucking that ted's wife dude no Archim- way. have you heard what archimedes and sandra are up to they invite a third person in the bedroom. Dude, I seen them the other day. Yeah. At the market. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just like weird middle school type rumors mm-hmm. about the gods. Which is like, it's so silly at that time, obviously, with so Socrates. Just like. Basically, you're saying, though, it was intertwined with like life. Yeah, the belief. But it was like the different, the more gangster thing there is like the action over words. Yeah, at that time. Yeah, man. Like, oh, you believe? Prove it. Yeah, don't like, be, don't be a bitch, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. we're putting you on trial, dude. Yeah, what are you, what are you bitching out on, on fucking sacrificing your your lamb or something? Like, we gotta eat. Everybody's gotta eat. You better fucking put that goat on the fucking table. Well, we actually won't eat it because it'll be burnt to a crisp, but <laughs> hopefully after we sacrifice the goat, many goats will come. Yes, yes. And we know that this will happen because we did it with Steve's goat last Look June. at fucking Steve, dude. Yeah. He looks great, man. Yeah, yeah. He was starving for like <laughs> a while. Well, you know. We all kind of felt bad, so everybody started chime, chiming in with their goats, giving them something to eat. Yeah. That's how it works. And then one guy pipes up, and Zeus banged his wife, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just like, looks around like, like Dave, every, everybody knows you banged his wife, dude. You'll get it. Shut up. Oh, my God. But that's, so like, when people would talk instead of their actions, that's one of the things that Socrates would fucking get under people's skin and be like if somebody was like he's just he was fucking annoying dude yeah because they'd be like if somebody had the balls to like say rather than do like if somebody was like i i pray to zeus to give me virtue and like be a a brave man he'd be like what uh do you know what virtue means can you spell it like, yeah, he'd be like, what makes you think Zeus is virtuous? Dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, there's nothing in the text yeah. that indicates that. You fucking heard. And they'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but everybody kind of liked him. Is that your thing? Do you go bar to bar, regurgitating fucking <laughs> yeah. shit you just heard? <laughs> God and wood. You God, you God and wood. <laughs> Vickers, the economy of Virginia, 1767. 
I've read it also. You just go plagiarizing and then pawn it off as your own. <laughs> he was fucking the original Goodwill Hunting dude, just going around being like, "Listen, uh, if we do have an issue, we can go outside and figure it out." You know, like just not yeah. doing a shit. Yeah, um, yeah, he's just kind of annoying, dude. Like he just asked. He would never answer a question. He just answered every question with a goddamn question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which yeah. I suppose if you're going to be the father of Western philosophy, you got to be that annoying dude that does that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's look. I, I think we should take some peop- take these folks down where this kind of all kind of began because in Athens, Greece... Uh, they just uh, city they, state, dude. They they were the fu- dude. Greece was the fucking pinnacle of all civilization at this point, and Athens was like well regarded, powerful city state, dude. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, the movie Three Hundred came out and just blew you know, everybody's dicks off, dude. dude. These fucking guys started hitting the gym, started drinking protein, creatine, and were like. Dude, those guys down the fucking block in Athens think they fucking know what's up, dude. They don't even fucking lift, bro. The Spartans. That's who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Spartans go and fuck up. Well, right? it's like a lot of the city-states in various points have been warring Mm. for, you know, that's really, it was just a constant power struggle politically, militarily, economically of these city-states and Greece. Yeah. That's always what it was during this time period. Okay. Some of them were allies. Some of them became enemies. They all went to war at various points. So, like, Socrates, when he was a young man, fought in yeah. some of the Peloponnesian Wars, dude. Yeah. Uh, he went to battle. But what you're referring to is a uh, specific time when they specifically went to war with Sparta and just got their fucking dicks kicked in. Dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, is that cons- cuz the what I saw was the Peloponnesian War lasted 26 years. Like Yeah, and there's, you know, there's a bu- there's I guess what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to set the stage of this is what ancient Greece was during this time. It was mm-hmm. a constant, you know, it's like upsmanship. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's true. Acadian. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you run and hide? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So shit's popping off. I mean, the similarities of, of things that we'll get into, I think, is what was most interesting learning about. Before we get into it, let's just talk about him as a guy, like, you know, uh, as a young man. Yeah. Learned to trade. Came from a pretty well-off family. Yeah. Uh, was a stonemason. That's it. Trade. That's it. Right, right, right. Um, and then, like, wealthy families, you know, if you had a son, you studied various other things. Um, his thing was philosophy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he kind of just. He also you know, fucked dudes. Yeah. And then also, you know. They all fucked dudes. <laughs> I thought it was interesting, though. He didn't <laughs> butt fuck his students. You think that's interesting? Like, yeah, because everybody else was doing it, <laughs> and for whatever reason, he like I, it said it. Like from what I read, it's like he really wanted to. But, <laughs> you know, what a weird fucking way to be like, dude. He <sighs> Plato was probably like, thank fuck. <laughs> This guy is gross as shit. I guess that was the thing. He's just unkempt mess all the time. He was ugly. Yeah. He smelled like shit. He didn't wash his clothes. He's just he busy thinking, dude. dude. Just busy thinking. Yeah, what a fucking dickhead. <laughs> just wandering around town, smelling like shit, looking like shit, fucking asking people questions. Yeah. Like, dude, why do you... What's your What's your deal, man? And he's like, why does anyone have a deal, dude? <laughs> Uh, what you is know. the deal? Have you made a deal? You know? Have you yeah, made- so I, I, get, I guess my point in saying, like, I totally get why people love him because people are like, this guy's fucking nuts, dude. Like, yeah. but he might be onto something. And then some people are like, I fucking hate this guy, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. Here, my walk and work, this guy ruins my fucking day at right. 8 a.m. Yeah. You know? Just going to the goddamn, get some water. 
Get because, some salt. Because I think there is. <laughs> go to the market, get some spices. <laughs> you really took me there, dude. You really took me there. I think like there is that balance. Put some get. sandals on, <laughs> fucking bum. <laughs> Oh my this guy god! Sucks, dude. Just somebody like just throw. This guy's annoying. I can just see somebody today just throwing a fucking half full Coke from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Socrates, <laughs> get it together, Grouch. <laughs> yeah, this guy sucks, dude. But yeah, you know but, he was super well respected. Um, yeah, I don't know. But what like, what, did did you see anything? Because I didn't see much of like his. I didn't look into much of his like life. I know that he like was somewhat of a an artist, you know, a fucking mason, right? Or just well, yeah, I was like, they all had trade, you know. Everybody learned like a trade, and because he was from the wealthy family, that's why he was able to study other things. Okay, and that's why a lot of people knew him too. Okay, is because he came from this well-known, well-off family. Yeah. And they said, like, he never had to worry about money for his okay. entire life just because his family was so well off, well liked. And yeah, he's just, you know, that's probably why, like, he's. I'm sure there were other guys who were had some pretty similar outrageous ideas for that time, but, like, they just didn't have the social status. That well, that's did. just it, dude. So at that time, we, that's a good way to get into the, the sophists. Yeah, see, those guys were like the, the. They were like the avant-garde yes. thinkers of the time. So people would just look at like when he was coming up. Yes, yeah. And when people were like look to get some in-depth, not just philosophy, but like advice or wisdom, with, like just being a wise person at that time was just like, you know, it. It was like you had over a million followers on Instagram, uh, or whatever the fuck that is. Um, but it was just like it gave you status, it gave you popularity, and these people who were sophists were like, <laughs> I saw somebody describe it as just like, your values are subjective, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, moral principles are like ice cream flavors, which I yeah. thought was very funny. It's like, like life is what I think it is. Yeah, and fuck you. Yeah, and it yeah. was like they weren't all teaching kids like to just like be bad but it's also like dude who gives you the right to say that what you're saying is good so i i never saw like what that is or what it took to become somebody who was considered a sophist or, or somebody who was who believed in sophism it was like it was probably just like money like being a a, a powerful person just like you know how i got this fucking money i got a big fucking dick that's how i got this fucking money <laughs> You know, and just like and being an asshole, it was probably the first like round of uh, just like celebrities, really, or some shit. Who knows? Well, the philosophy too is very much like uh, I don't want to say hedonistic. Hedonistic, that's the wrong word, but almost like um, what modern day Satanists think. Like I only care about my point of view. And yeah. that's all that matters. They're calling it moral relative, moral relative. Yeah, I I decide. Yes, I I make my own moral judgments. Yes, and that's my code. It's not based on any traditions or anything like that. Yeah, it's all in my head and my instinct. Because and that's just it too. Because like the religious aspect of that, Socrates wasn't necessarily a an atheist or anything like that. Like even at well, when we get to his fucking trial, it was like he still had loyalty to his religion, quote unquote, and like the state. Like I've signed a so a, a yeah. He's a fucking true, true and true citizen, dude. Yeah, which is like, dude, go fuck yourself, man. Like all you preach, and then this is this is it, dude. That's how you're gonna fucking end it. I but think it's awesome, dude. We'll get there. We'll get to, we'll get to it. But um. No, so, like, that was the big deal when he was coming up. Um, and then he goes, because, like, there's not, like, a great timeline in all this. He got married a couple times, had some kids. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Um, but he was teaching. 
So like his yeah, he eventually you know uh, starts his own little school or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what they call them. No, I, I don't guess know. we'll call them a school, dude. Yeah, I, I don't. But know. But like this was common, like you know, these dudes, like these other well-off families, be like, "Oh, dude, Socrates, like he's on the right track. Like go yeah. study with him." And um, which is wild, dude. Like you know. You, you, if, if, if people had Put that time, duct tape around your asshole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dude, everybody was just fucking. If he comes at you, just punch him in the dick, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Everybody was just fucking. Yeah, I was thinking like, because he, he was not doing that. He was not butt fucking his students. So like, I was just imagining him like Jeffrey Epstein has. The Jeffrey Epstein of the day, like from uh, what's it called, Sparta? He's like, I'm gonna fucking blackmail these assholes, dude. Yeah. He brings them over. All the fucking philosophers to his island. Yeah. You know, they're all getting wasted inside at some dinner, and like he looks around. Epstein looks around. He's like, Where the fuck is Socrates, dude? He's the guy that we needed to get. <laughs> like, where the fuck this guy we need to get? He dirt like, on, gets his servants. He's like, Where the fuck is Socrates? And they're like, Oh, sir. He's wandering the property, being super annoying, talking to all the gardeners and asking them odd shit. Yeah, yeah. He's like, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) He's the guy we needed to get, dude. Fuck. Yeah. No, but like he was, that that brings up a good point because he was, uh, people say, dude, also the guy never wrote anything down. So everything that we say. Yeah. Everything that people have known about it's him. It's all his students all, writing down his shit. We're all basing this basically off of Plato and that other asshole, Zeno. S- whatever his yeah. name is, dude. Can't pronounce it. And Those uh, are the two big guys. His two, yeah, his two big, big pupils, major students. Dude. Which, uh, is par for the course for this fucking dickhead. Like, they're like, you know, we're studying with you. A lot of these other guys have like, you know shit written down that we can study. <laughs> You're kind of just going off, popping off at the mouth yeah. every day. <laughs> like, you know, this is a school. And he's oh, just sitting yeah. there like, why Why do you need to do that? Like, you yeah. know, blow answers with a question like a fucking asshole. Yeah. And they were just sitting there like, right, right. I, I so, so we'll write it down then? <laughs> like, or what, I mean... I can see Socrates looking over at fucking Plato and just be like, "Are you are you writing? Are you are you writing something down? What are you writing down?" Every time he's like trying to get, <laughs> <laughs> he's got like fucking. He's got the quote. What are you, what are you writing? What are you writing? I, you no. know what they were doing? They were taking a fucking chisel and a fucking hammer <laughs> on a goddamn tablet like it's like the, the Ten the Commandments. Flintstones. And he just stops. And he's got big doe eyes. Like, um, nothing, man. I'm not doing anything. Oh my god! Yeah, he's dude. like, "What the fuck?" He's super paranoid. Yeah. You writing down my shit, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, see, that's why I like Socrates so much, just because he was a private fucking dude. He didn't write. I mean, it's cool that he didn't write shit down, but people was he still a private talk guy? About- yeah. That's that's another thing. Your Epstein Epstein Island thing. Like, he would definitely be the guy that, like, if he ever took the invite. He'd be like on the beach. He's talking to the fucking gardeners. And ta- yeah, a hundred percent, dude. It's like, <laughs> like, cause what is it that that Oracle ends up telling it, dude? Also, the Oracle of Delphi, dude. What? Fuck can yeah, you dude. fucking tell me about these oracles, dude? Yeah, man. Have you ever seen a uh, Minority Report? I saw the, the best way to like bring it up to today. Ma- is it like the Matrix? There's an Oracle in the Matrix. Oh sure, yeah. It's the same thing. Is that yeah? But then, like, isn't that the wisest person? No, they're like, they're like, because um, there's oracles in. They're like, there. they're like the channel from the gods, dude. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, okay. They're the representation of how it is. What you want me to say? Yeah. Okay. So they'd be in these caves up in the mountains, and they'd be. Literally just tripping balls all day. And like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're you right. Know, inhaling all the fucking gases from the volcanic cave. DMT, dude, DMT. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, dude. <laughs> fucking sick, dude. 
Hey, sidebar, did you hear that fucking Aaron Rodgers was doing ayahuasca? I fucking love this guy, dude. <laughs> I think he's a fucking look. I don't care if you do that shit, but like, I don't know, like claiming it's the reason you won the MVP, dude. I bet you, I want, I want somebody, I want somebody to ask this fucking guy if his goal is to actually win a Super Bowl. I want, I want to know. Absolutely. If he says yes, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay with all the bullshit. But if he says no, or it's something about. Becoming just staying true to yourself and becoming a no, real human, dude. If he no. says some bullshit like that, I'm gonna look, look, dude. I'm gonna sell my shares in the company, dude. Look, Aaron Rodgers is a dog, dude. He's a he's one of the fucking boys. He's a football player, and he's got Northern California hippie fucking parents who are like, you should read, you should learn how fucking money and government works, and uh, like if you become big time. I hope that all works out. I just think it's interesting that he's doing this shit at age 40 or however old he is, dude. It's I don't blame him. His whole fucking tattoo thing where everybody's like, what is... It's like, dude, it's weird Man, fucking... I don't care. Yeah. As long as he is using that He's trying to win the fucking bowl, dude. <laughs> That's all I give a shit about. I don't give a shit about any of the other stuff. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm half glad it kind of pisses people off. Yeah. But yeah. I could flip on a dime, dude. If his, oh. if his main prior, if his priorities are not in order, dude. No. And I want somebody <laughs> to fucking ask him, dude. If his priorities are not in order in accordance to what I believe his priorities <laughs> dude. should be. Let's uh, fucking ride out with Jordan Love, dude. <laughs> fucking no, dude. I love this fucking Oracle of Delphi shit, dude. dude That's let what me... he was going to find, dude. Yeah, Rogers. He's like, <laughs> how do I win the bowl, man? It's just what's it all mean? It's man? just Reggie White, like, <laughs> yeah, Reggie. I White's, don't know, dog. Reggie White <laughs> is the Oracle of Delphi, like. Dog, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even He's know, just wearing so. a CPAP machine while he talks to. <laughs> He's like Aaron, you gotta cut that shit out, dog. Throw some touchdowns, dog. All right, get some defense, get some good defensive players before I pass out. Okay, dog. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like he definitely. Uh, I look at Aaron Rodgers as like a Bruce Lee, where Bruce Lee obviously is known as a fucking action movie star, but he is much more than that. And, dude, Bruce Lee's like, I want to have the biggest fucking movies in the world. I want to be a super mega star. Aaron Rodgers wants to have all that. He wants to be, he wants to, he's already surpassed his fucking uh, Brett Favre with MVPs. He's got to get one more fucking ring just so that he can be like, suck my fucking unvaccinated dick. All right, if he wins a bowl, dude. I don't care about any of it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right? Even if he doesn't want a bowl, but, like, he's like, this is all I care about right now. Yeah. Fuck. I don't think that's ever not been his goal. I, Come on, dog. I'm starting to question it, man. That's Come all on, I'm saying. Dog. I'm starting to question it. He that just, should not be the fucking case with this guy. I think, he's just, I think he's just at the point now where he can just be like, he just doesn't, like, dude, like, far back in the it all happens like this. You get older and you're just like, uh, I'm going to send a picture of my dick to this chick. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, Favre, uh, Favre like, did not have the most graceful exit for like, the lead, dude. I'm going to, uh, look, I like to have fun. And I'm going to send a picture of my dick wearing That whole Crocs. year with the Jets was, whew, Yeah. It was really bad. And then, uh, but hey. Did what he had to do to get on the Vikings. That's what it all was. That was the whole goal. That was all it was about. The whole goal. You know what? He probably played like an asshole just so they would cut him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they went like 8-0. You remember? The Vikings. The, the, no, the, the, the Jets? Jets went on an eight-game win streak. I don't And then I think that. he reeled it back. He's like, fuck. <laughs> It's like these fucking AFC teams don't know about the oh, gunslinger, baby. Yeah. They don't oh, fucking shit. know about that. Um, 
Yeah, they went on an eight, eight game win streak. His last season with the Vikings, where he was just getting the shit beat out of him, though, dude. That was brutal. His That's last a- season in the league, dude, where like the team had kind of been dismantled. Yeah. The team that went on the run the year before, and like it was just like, oof. Yeah. Farvey, man, hang him up, dude. Yeah. You're not going to remember any of this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. But, anyways, back to the Oracle of Delphi, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty much the Oracle from the Matrix. Um, yeah. It's the conduit of the gods, dude. That's a, okay. The nice. conduit of the gods. Damn, the conduit dog. Damn. of the universe and the truth of the universe. You know, yeah, basically dog. everything Rogers is going after. <laughs> <laughs> Rogers is looking for Reggie White, dude. Yeah, he's looking for Reggie with a CPAP machine. He yeah, on a like, fishing boat, dude. Like, Two more touchdowns. <laughs> Rogers can see him like he takes ayahuasca, and Rogers is on the beach. Yeah, and he can see him in the boat. He's like, "How do I get out there?" Yeah, right, 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 Don. Like, right. He's waving. <laughs> basically um the oracle of delphi told socrates he told someone else she told socrates. she told oh jesus christ we're fucking yeah, they I, actually all I, were, I dead were women i dead what do you call that i dead gendered i dead pronounced I I don't know. I mispronounced her gender. I, I don't care, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't, don't care, dude. Oh, my God. But I'm pretty yeah. sure they were all women, though. But, all the she, oracles. but she had told someone else who then told Socrates. Oh, I thought he went up there. No, 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 no. Somebody I he ends up. The mountain, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. That's like, in 300, dude. That I know. Fucking, that fucking animal goes up we're like, there. What's up? <laughs> that traitor. Uh, but yeah, so when he finds out from this guy who's like, hey, new album drop from the Oracle. <laughs> you're, you're number one, dude. Oracle's new mixtape out. Yeah, dude. You're, you're number one, dude. You're the fucking, you're the wisest the most, man in the, the land. most wise man. And Socrates was like, nah. Dude, <laughs> He's nah, like, come nah, on, nah. yeah. dude. So he goes around town like a dickhead. (laughs) Starts wandering around town asking people questions to see if they were wiser than him. Which is which is now known as the Socratic method. Well, like his his whole thing of let's just let's talk it out. Let's talk all this bullshit out. But his the Socratic method, in essence, of of talking shit out is like what we were saying before, like each of the words that you used, like he, if you used a word to describe someone, he was like, do you know what that means? Yeah, like, like it's all like, about like, let's dismantle all the presuppositions we have about Zeus. Yeah. And like, what is he really about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does it mean to be Zeus? And how does it, what does it matter to us that he's our God? Right, right. Have you seen his stuff? Not on YouTube, okay? Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, <laughs> what's the website that fucking... Did you check out his mixtape days, dude? <laughs> <laughs> fucking him and Wayne dropped a couple sick ones back in like 2004, dude. He was actually part of the Hot Boys, dude. Did the you drought, know that? the Drought Three, dude. Yeah. You even heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> the Drought Three. Yeah, man. So he goes around town asking the people he thinks. That's it. So like, he, the Oracle tells this person. Person tells. Socrates, he's going around being an asshole, asking all these people what the and fuck. And everybody's just like, dude, you fucking smell. <laughs> dude, like, I hate looking at your feet. Could you put on some sandals? Wash your clothes, dude. Oh, oh my Maybe God. Trim your fucking beard, dude. Jesus, dude. Are those the Jerusalem fours, dude? Oh, God, upgrade already. Christ. Yeah. Like, uh,. Yeah, but he's going specifically to like politicians, people he thinks are wise. So yeah, he goes yeah, to yeah. politicians, yeah. he goes to artists, he goes to poets, he goes to craftsmen and stuff like that. And like, there was one story that stuck out to me that I thought was interesting where he went up to a politician, and I feel like this is so accurate to today, where he's like, uh, um, he's like, talking to him about several things and then he socrates realizes this guy is a fucking dunce like he's just rambling on about how much he knows and how much 
he's learned and all this. And he's like, well, what about the things like you don't know? And this guy was like, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean by I don't know. He was like, well, don't you like, don't you not know things? What if I were to tell you that like you're not smart because like you don't know things? And he was like, you fucking smell, dude. Get the fuck (laughs) away from me. Dude, I Like he couldn't, this politician couldn't. And, and it, that's how he got under people's skin, especially people in power. Yeah, they were like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, man? what's the angle, dude? Yeah, dude. Like, you know? You ever see uh, the one, what's the uh, what's the show with the kids that was on Adult Swim? Wonder, Wonder Bus? Wonder Shows. And- Wonder Shows. And- it was on MTV, dude. Was it? Yeah. And, and like, there's a, the kid just going around asking people, like, what does it feel like? <laughs> yeah. What I do remember that. What does it feel that. like to, like, give up to corporate greed? And, like, how do you wash the blood <laughs> off your hands? Like, just amazing yeah. fucking questions. And, uh, like, what does it feel like to, uh, to, like, just to, like, uh, fuck, I forget the word. But he's like, what does it feel like to just, like, use people, basically? And, like, I'm sure he was asking questions along those lines, but it just, like, offended. People got so offended by Socrates. Just, like, and his his shit was really genuine, but also, like, people, there's people saying that he was, he could be condescending at times, which, if you're that fucking smart. Yeah. Because he was smart. That's he what was, I'm saying, man. They're all like, dude, this guy is a dickhead, but he's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I was thinking of that, like, like uh, when people will just blatantly say things, politicians using their slogans for their fucking change, uh, support our troops, make right. America great again. Right. Socrates would have a fucking field day, dude. He was he was shitting on all that stuff back in the day, dude. Yeah. Too. That yeah. was the other thing. He just was kind. Of, he, he critiqued like everything. Yeah. Coney, 2012, he was there for that. Dude, like. Coney, he was like, <laughs> everybody's like, dude, we got to get this Coney guy. He's like, do we? Do we? Coney kind of rules. <laughs> <laughs> he, here's why. Come to my lecture, dude. He's I'll like, show you why Coney's not that bad. Coney's better than you, dude. Yeah. But he He's would like, just like eviscerate these people, yeah, especially yeah, today. Yeah. Just like me too, whatever the hashtag fucking of the just whatever. It doesn't is. even matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He'd what, be like, whatever pride. the topic is. What, pro- what? What are you proud of? What are you proud of? Yeah. Like, where does that come from? What do you mean? You know. But uh, that's like a like, just as how that would be offensive today to be like, what do you? Yeah. What do you mean? Back then, they were on the same trip. Though, they were like, dude, fuck this you, guy. Dude, you got to shut the fuck up. Hey, You're going to get in some hey, shit. Chill, dude. chill, chill, chill. Dude, chill, chill. Ooh, oh, we're not with him. We're not. I don't know this man. Yeah, but. dude, basically what we're saying is this this guy, if he was alive today, he'd be canceled in five fucking minutes. Yes. That's, that's one of my favorite things about this guy. Like, I wrote down a note saying, if you don't ask questions and it becomes a pin like a pin button or a t-shirt like he was asking the questions in a in opposition to those fucking t-shirts like if you don't say Epstein didn't kill himself and then like but how did that happen what do you mean you got to get in like in a de- like ask the real question there or else it becomes a fucking t-shirt or a pin or a button yeah. and like Nobody wanted to fucking do that. And people still don't want to do that. Yeah, man. It's easier to fucking. Yeah, he's just making people uncomfortable, basically, with with his philosophical method. Yes. That's that's basically what it was. Which goes into, like, the youth thing. So he's corrupting the youth. Well, we're skipping slightly ahead here, but he was accused of two things. Yeah, impiety and corrupting the youth of Athens. So impiety basically means just um, you're not sucking the god's dicks like we yeah, are, dude. Yeah, like we mentioned before, dude. He like refused to take part in a public ceremony uh, supporting the gods, dude. Which was probably like lighting four children on fire for all we know. <laughs> 
just just so like a ship could go out and like have a good fucking day of fishing. Yeah, like yeah. you know, who knows what it was. And the other one was just yeah, corrupting the youth of Athens. But we're skipping ahead. Yeah. Well, so let's get back to um, that war that you were talking about before with Sparta. Okay. Um, so basically, Athens gets fucking trounced, dude, by the fucking baby killing Spartans, dude. Allegedly. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> They're just trying to find strong babies, dude. Dude. I've I'm gonna do that, that to my kids. <laughs> I'm gonna like throw them. I'm off just gonna throw them off, dude. I'm gonna throw them off a cliff. Throw them in the river right yeah. here, and then send your six-year-old son out to kill a saber-toothed tiger. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we do the same thing, dude. Sometimes you just gotta be like, "Hey, are you gonna man up today, son? Are you gonna do that? Yeah. Are you be the man of the house today? <laughs> huh? Yeah." And then he comes back wearing the goddamn pelt, and you're like, "Nice, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I knew you'd come back." Yeah, I got your dinner. What was that? What was that? Three, four weeks ago? Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, your mom's going to be stoked that you came yeah. back. Oh, fucking tight, dude. <laughs> yeah, so basically, what was that guy's name in uh, 300? The Leonidas? So Leonidas fucking puts his fucking boot on the neck of fucking Athens. Oh, no. no it was it was not Leonidas. I know. Ly- Lysander. I think Lysander? that, was, I that, think that his was his name. Yeah. So yeah, they um, they defeat Athens and um, some shit like that. Yeah. Um, there's various political factions kind of vying for control of Athens at this time, and uh, basically um, they're getting trounced mm-hmm. by the fucking Spartans. So they cut a deal to end the war. And uh, that puts in charge a group of people, uh, the group of 30, dude. Is that Dirt. what they were called? Group of 30? The th- uh, Dirty 30? Or believe? just the 30. Is that what they were called? No, the t- uh, 30 tyrants. That's what it was. Well, yeah. That's what like they become known as. But I think it's just called the group of 30. Okay. That's like the core group. They're like, Sparta's like, yeah, all right, tight, dude. Which is Athenians and Spartans, is it? Or is it just Athenians? Uh, of the no, no, no. This is just over Athens. They're like, all right, we'll cut you a deal. We'll stop warring with you, but you got to put in like a fucking <laughs> Spartan friendly regime, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very America what we did to them. We're yeah. like, dude. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. our guy's gonna be in there, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. <clears throat> um, so it's these group of thirty people, very friendly to Sparta. They ended the war. But their reign was fucking devastating to Athens. Yeah. Because they were just rounding people up that they didn't like, political enemies, whatever, just bringing yeah. people to the town square and be like, don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were doing that thing like uh, yeah. thumb in the middle, thumb at neutral, just boom, thumbs yeah. down, bitch. Yeah. And they're like. He's got a hand in a bucket of lobster, just like, <laughs> oh, nah, nah, yeah. bug this guy. <laughs> yeah, who's this? <laughs> yeah, where's his wife at? <laughs> yeah, she's pretty hot. All right, kill this guy. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, Zeus told me to kill you, pal. Sorry. Yeah. Throw him in. Yeah, dunk that guy's head in water <laughs> <laughs> until he can't breathe no more. Water boredom. Water boredom. Yeah, Fuck who, is, it. who is the Gruden of their torture program? <laughs> listen, listen, I got a oh bucket of nails God. here. We can go at this a number of ways. Yeah. We got Spider 4 in the flat. <laughs> <laughs> but that shit lasted eight months, right? Yeah, it lasted like no time at all just because like eventually... Uh, the rest of Athens, who was like, people fled the city like they were genuinely scared of these people. Yeah. And um, the guy running it all, I forget it, Critias. I don't know how you pronounce some Oh, Kratos. Kratos. I, mean. I don't know how you pronounce some of these names. Yeah. Yeah, he was a student of, um, of Socrates. Right. And he was the fucking ringleader of this group of 30. Right. And... Um, Basically, there was a goddamn rebellion. They were like, dude, eight months is enough of this shit. We're yeah. taking back the city. Yeah. And so they did that. And the new regime 
basically said, all right, anybody who helped these assholes will give you amnesty. Anybody who's friends with these assholes will give you amnesty. Yeah. We're cutting all these fucking guys' heads off, though. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are fucking done, dude. I don't yeah. care if Sparta wipes us off the map, dude. Yeah. Fuck these assholes. We're taking back the city. Yeah. And because... Uh, the ringleader was a student and a friend of Socrates. Yeah. But here's the thing, like Critias, Critias, and Charimedes. Yeah. Were the so two guys. the whole time when they these guys were popping off, these this gang of thirty guys. Yeah. Socrates was doing the same shit to them. He was like ruining his relationship. People were like, Yeah. Oh, you're boys with them. He's like, Am I boys with them? Yeah. I see what they're doing. Like, <laughs> basically, he wasn't going along with anything they were saying. Uh, he was criticizing them at every step, just like he would do anybody. Yeah. So he was talking shit to even his guys. Right. That right. they were at the top of the heap. Because they, co- they considered that the, Sp- the Spartan oligarchy, like when those 30 guys were in place. Yeah, they were like, these guys, they don't represent us. They're friendly to the guys who yes. conquered us. And there's, Fuck them. There's the, those Plato and that other asshole, Xenophobe, whatever the fuck his name is. Xenomorph, dude. Th- that Xenomorph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Susan Sarandon. Uh, or what are, no, not Susan Sarandon. S- uh, Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney. Yeah, Siggy Weaves. Yeah, uh, but there's between Shout those. Shout out Avatar 2, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Smurfs 3, dude. Yeah. Uh, but there's contradicting between Plato and that guy because Xenomorph thought that Plato was for the oligarchs. Socrates. That, that Socrates was for the uh, oligarchs. But Plato was like, no, nah, dude, he wasn't a part of that. The, the one thing we really need to touch on is that one of the reasons that people really fucking hated him, Socrates, was because he was so against democracy. Yeah, he hated it. Like, hate. And one of the. Dude, that shit blew my fucking dick off because he made such a great argument to, like, how democracy is fucking stupid. Because he's like, if you're going to go out to sea on a ship, did you hear this? No. He goes, if you, if you go out to ship, out to sea, and you're going to take a fucking ship, would you want, like, the 30 people, like, in this fucking apartment building that are closest to me? Or would you want to find, like, 30 seamen who are, like, well, know how to fucking handle a ship? You're like, yeah, dude, I want to fucking 30 fucking sailors who know what the fuck is going on. So he goes, so if I'm about to vote for someone, everybody just gets to vote? Like, just, like, stupid people get to, people in Georgia and Alabama get to vote? Like, they're dumb, though. Like, I, I don't get the connection with the boat, though. I'm, now I'm lost. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm saying, dude, say we're going out to sh- we're going out to sail right. on a on a say we're going from the fucking right. Cape Cod to fucking you know. Oh, so like you're taking a team out? Yeah, to to when we're going to fucking Canada. Buy- Why wouldn't you just pick the best guys instead of everybody voting on which guys get to go? Yeah, Is that what you're saying. I well, yeah. I mean, if if I would want to successfully get to my goal, right? Why wouldn't I take the best people that will help attain that goal, all to um, get them all on board, literally on board, right? So his argument was like in democracy, all the of Senate would vote on that. Our, no, no, the entire, everybody gets to vote. Their entire fucking... Oh, shit, the entire city state. Yeah. Whoever's a citizen. Whoever's a citizen gets to vote. Well, what if your citizen likes to fucking lick stickers and eat them? <laughs> like, what the fuck is yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah, I get it now. You know what I mean? And he was like, the, the, the way we can solve this is you teach people how to vote. You teach people and ma- help them get intelligent and like learn how this all actually works and i was like dude you're fucking not wrong dude like yeah like uh but that's why people hated him because he was like bringing logic and reason and rationale he questioned everything a conversation yeah, yeah. so that's like one dude i'm just trying to go to the spice market <laughs> i don't want to talk to you man 
No, no, no. But listen, there's a boat, okay? And we're leaving, oh, and yeah, I need God. semen. Can They're you like, get me semen? He's like pushing back. He's like, please don't talk to my kids, dude. <laughs> like, just not today, dude. No, no, listen, semen. We need semen. Can you get me semen? Uh, <laughs> yeah, semen. That guy, yeah, give me semen. <laughs> So, but yeah, going back to what you were saying, I'm sorry. Like the oh so no, the, so those thirty the thirty tyrants. So they get they get taken out by a rebellion. The city is taken back. Yeah. Um, and basically they're like, listen, fuck these thirty guys. We're killing them all. Yeah. But everybody else is cool because we want to make the peace and we want to make sure shit runs smoothly once it ends. Like we want to end this. We're killing these fucking guys. Because the place. It was it's a shit show. Everywhere, like all of Greece is just about to collapse at this point. They were like, dude, like we got to end this shit. Yeah. Like we yeah. need to go back to the old Athens, dude. Yeah. The old boy fucking, boy ass fucking Athens, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go find that 14 year old wrestler who's. Yeah, they uh, wanted to focus on shit like that <laughs> instead of, you know. <laughs> Getting their head chopped off by some fucking tyrants, dude. Yeah. But um, basically, so because Socrates was so hated by a lot of people, and because he was boys with, like, the ringleader. Yeah. You know, he was one of his students. Uh, they were like, well, fucking, it's a good opportunity to get rid of Socrates, dude. This is a good chance. They were like, dude, but- if we're going to do it. We're going to get rid of this smelly asshole. This is the time to do it. And uh, so that's when they bring these charges on. Because they don't want to make it about, like, the takeover and the rebellion. But they, like, adjacent to that, they're like, well, fuck this guy. Even though he kind of talks shit on them, we're still going to kind of roll it into this. And that's when he gets charged with as I mentioned, impiety and corrupting the youth of Athens. And, and because he had, there was something, he had amnesty or something like that because he knew these guys. It wasn't just, yeah. it wasn't just those two. It wasn't just Carmides and Critias. He right. knew like a couple of these fucking 30 assholes. Yeah. And they couldn't really say it's impiety and corrupting the youth. The official, like what's actually written down was inspiring a counter-revolution versus the Athenian democracy during the war. With the aid of his students, Carmides, Critias, and Alcibiades, or some shit. Wait, for real? Yeah. So, and then the other one was inciting the young youth, uh, the young men of Athens to revolt against democracy. Those are the official... Oh, okay. Like, but I thought it was because he went against the gods, dude. But that's that's what they, that's what. That's like it all kind of. Yeah, it ended up being what people knew it for. They're like, yeah, dude, we get this, but like, he's not fucking. He's not hanging out with the gods. He's not doing the same shit that we do. So like, when this all comes down, they take this asshole to trial. And he's Jury of 300 of his peers, dude. 500, dude, 500, 500 of these motherfuckers, dude. Dude, 500. That's a huge jury. And he, dude, he loses by a vote of 52% guilty. So it was close. Yeah. And, oh, here's, here's, so he makes, so I forget if this is before or after he gets, uh, I think it's during the trial. I was going to say after he, the verdict comes in. He makes an apology, which is like just him being a sarcastic asshole. Yeah, it's like, great, yeah, dude. Sorry, I don't fucking burn the townspeople in the square <laughs> so we have a good harvest. You fucking dickhead. Oh, my He's God, like, dude. The goddamn oracle picked me, yeah. dude. <laughs> they, in Athens, they had this place where they would like celebrate Olympians and like like great people in the fucking city and it was just like amazing food and everything yeah. and while he's on trial they're like what do you suggest we do with you you fucking stinky <laughs> fuck and he's like 70 years old at this he's time old as shit. and he's like i suggest you guys feed me for free like it's the fucking golden corral like yeah just- he's like 
Like I won the goddamn Olympics. That was his whole thing. He's like, like I'm an Olympian, Olympian, a champion Olympian, whatever they yes. called it back in those days. Yes, I don't dude. remember. So he goes to trial, and dude, the thing is, they didn't like. They wanted to shake him. He's like, yeah, I'm real sorry. <laughs> You fucking pricks. <laughs> you fucking. And dude, he straight up was like, you fucking dummies are going to kill me. But like He's my. Like, son, oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. He's like, but my like the fact that you guys aren't asking questions. They gave him so many outs. Yes. They were like, dude. <laughs> they, were like they even listen, asked him. They're like, you dude, can, we just kind of want you to get the fuck out. Like, yeah. He's like. All right, the trial's in a month, and they're like <laughs> winking the whole time. Like we're gonna put you to death, dude. Like there's plenty of time to escape. But that's just it, dude. The balls that he had, where he was like his reason for being like, dude, fuck your escape, fuck your trial, because his like students too, like who are still obviously with him, were like, dude, we'll fucking we got a plan, we got schematics and well and like first a, of all the fact that like just go man don't even stay in trial like I what know, are you doing but i'm getting to that i'm getting to that because he, he all right his, his students are just like dude we'll get you the fuck out of here dude let's fucking yeah roll. they offered to break him out several times and his thing was just like dude if i fucking socrates <laughs> dude if i fucking agree to their exile or i run off or you know, I just another option for him was just like they were just like, can you just shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, <laughs> dude, dude? If you shower once a month, and stop talking to people. Yeah, we will leave you alone. Yeah, and he was like, nah, nah fuck dude. that. Yeah, you're a pussy, dude. He's like, I bet you won't even do it. <laughs> They're like, I bet you back off, dude. Oh, you're gonna kill me, dude. Yeah. But that was just it, dude. The balls he had to say that and the balls of just being like, I'm not, where he's very right, I am not doing anything wrong. Yeah. I am not, I am asking questions that you assholes are too fucking pussy to just confront yourself. Yeah. And they're like, <clears throat> so is it, you want hemlock? That, that's how you want to go? You just, you want to drink this? Oh, he actually got to choose that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was like, no, no, and so before that even, yeah, most people who got convicted, they offered them to chant the chance to suggest an alternative sentence. Okay, so like he, they gave some examples, like you said, exile, yeah, uh, heavy taxation, like just a huge fine. Yeah, if like, he, if he, found those were some of the other alter, but like that's the thing. So there were more people. So after they gave him those uh, alternatives, and he's like, fuck that, they'd vote on it again. More people <laughs> voted to convict him to death <laughs> than voted him guilty because they were all just like, fuck this guy. Fuck it. Fine. Fuck yeah. you. Oh, my God, dude. So it was basically just a giant dick waving contest. It really was. <laughs> That's just what this trial was, dude. Because he he was. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. I'm asking a couple questions. That's getting people all riled Ooh. up here. Uh, but I'm not asking Steve about his wife and Zeus. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, Steve. Again, everybody knows it was Dave that fucked your wife, man. It was not <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Zeus is it what was he, Dave wearing a lion pelt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus is what he calls his penis because it's, you know, it's got white hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So he's got all, he's got the succession of outs that, he, but he just says, fuck you. I'm not doing anything wrong. That's where you were at. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's just, dude, they, they wanted, they had a certain amount of respect for him. And they were just like, dude, like you said, you got some outs? Yeah. We can figure something out here. Maybe you can figure something out. Maybe we lose some paperwork. <laughs> yeah, they you were know? like, oh, we're the paperwork. Yeah, man. yeah. And uh, Yeah, hey, listen, pal. Guards are going on break for like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Keys are going to be on the seat. Like, yeah. you know, there's a bunch of shit like that. Like, 
Socrates. They're like, ah, oh, we really don't want to kill this guy, dude. Yeah. Because he's like, you know, he's from a noble family. Like, yeah. he's a super well-known guy. And People still like him. Yeah, 100%. And he can't help himself. He's, he's like, like, hey, you how fucked about up, dude. meals downtown? He's like, you fucked up, dude. He's like, oh, yeah, you're going to sentence me to death, dude? Yeah. You're going to look like assholes, dude. Yes. That's pretty much what he says to And him. he was old. He probably was just like, fuck it, dude. That's really, that's, that's one of the things, too. He was like in his 70s. And I think that helped him kind of make his decision. So this the trial fucking goes on. He fucking obviously doesn't escape. He just is like, dude, you guys are doing yourselves a disservice because I asked some fucking questions and you guys are too much of pussies to confront your own, like, your own realities here, you know? Yeah. And grow and maybe learn something. And uh, he decides that he would like to be, he'll fucking, he'll, he'll, die he'll take death and he says he'll take it just to make them all look like assholes yeah and he goes you guys are gonna you guys are losing out on this he's like either way he's like either way i win dude yeah yeah (laughs) people are talking about me steve people are talking about me right here dude yeah (laughs) he's doing the david (laughs) brent right here he quick takes uh takes a moment to give everybody all 500 of the people of DX suck it. Yeah, he's just right before. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, and uh, he just drinks this poisonous tea. He drinks the hemlock, man. Drinks the hemlock. And he hit what his final words are to some god, I forget, who's like the god of healing. He's like, I offer you a rooster. Be sure you pay my debt. And then. Bill and Ted show up and they're like, so crazy, dude. <laughs> they're like, dude. <laughs> you like Van Halen? <laughs> but the king, dude, he's a king. He fucking. Yeah. He was the guy he asking killed, the question. He killed himself to make a bunch of people look like assholes, dude. <laughs> Which is kind of baller. It's I mean, that's so kind of baller. Dude. funny, dude. Yeah. But that's. Yeah, no, and what, like, I think the, the relevancy. His, his whole thing, too, like, uh, was just like, hey, man. You know, at the end of the day, like, I'm old, and uh, I'm a son of Athens, dude. Yeah. You guys want to convict me? Well, this is what it is now. This is Athens now. You guys killed me. Fucking Socrates. This is it. Damn, dog. It's like, I'm going down with the fucking ship. Yeah. It's like, fuck it. Yeah. And and I think he made, he made that decision as an old man, and he, like you said, dude, he was just... Ready to fucking call it a life, dude. He was in his 70s. He didn't give a fuck yeah. at that point. Um, yeah, man. That's pretty much it. Fucking pretty pretty tight story, dude. It is. It is a tight story, dude. Fucking pussies. <laughs> dude, He's the ba- he'd be the bad guy today. He'd be the bad guy. It's a dude. I like banging dudes. That's a dick. I like dudes. <laughs> All right, you know what I mean? No, no, I'm talking like the transgender stuff. Like he'd just be like, "Oh, oh you're like a you're a woman, though. and you're he, like, you're a man." He'd be like, "What's up?" Yeah, like uh, how'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, "What do you mean?" He'd be like, "You heard me." <laughs> no, 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 but where is it? Seriously though, what? How'd you do that? <laughs> oh fuck, dude, that's, that's money. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got, dude. Yeah, dude. Shout out Socrates. Yeah. Shout out Bill and Ted, dog. Shout out. Shout out. Wait, shout out mixtape era Wayne, dude. Yeah, dude. Speed <laughs> guys, be sure to catch Speed. Shout out Hot Boys, dude. Shout yeah. out Speed, dude. Dude, Dennis Hopper, R.I.P. Dog. You know, Alex Jones. We're all rooting for you, dog. Yeah, Jones, dude. What the fuck, man? Jones will be fine, dude. This is all fucking, like you said, it's a goddamn circus, dude. Jones will be fine. The fact that he's just putting his shit on the next day is amazing. (laughs) (laughs) What a goddamn lunatic, dude. What a fucking lunatic. All right, that's it, dude.